Oppo Reno 10X comes with a couple of innovative features. There's a noxious display thanks to a rather cool pop-up shark fin camera, and as the name suggests, a 10 times hybrid zoom. But how do you fit so much cool tech into such a slim body, especially when you consider there's a 4065 milliamp battery in this thing? Well, let's find it out and tear it down. The first hurdle to overcome when tearing down the Oppo Reno 10X is the glue that also acts as a line of defense against moisture. Using our trusty heat gun and some careful leveraging, we were able to peel off the glass shell. Underneath lies another plastic cover that protects the interior. This sticker on top contains the NFC antenna. Be careful when removing it or you'll tear the connector cable. Having removed the plastic shield, you can really tell how much of a challenge this device must have been for Oppo's engineers. There is so much stuff here and so little space. Let's start with the imaging department. The extendable shark fin mechanism in the upper area of the smartphone already eats away a good chunk of space. Aside from the selfie camera, it also houses two LED flashes for both the selfie and main cameras. The microphone and the earpiece are also in there. While the two super wide and wide angle cameras are within the usual dimensions, the horizontally mounted telephoto lens takes up an enormous amount of space. I mean, you could put another three cameras in there. We'll come back to that camera setup and the spectacular mechanics later, but for now, let's have a look at what else hogs space inside this smartphone. The battery. We're talking about a hefty 4,065 milliamps here. It has no problem powering the Reno 10X for two full days. So after checking out that massive battery, you may be asking yourself the question, where are the brains of this little powerhouse? Where's the computer? Oppo has designed the circuit board to fit around the camera and it squeezes in between the battery and the shark fin. After peeling off the heat dissipation element and digging through some heat sink paste, we finally managed to reveal it, at least more or less. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 hides just underneath this eight gigabytes of RAM module made by Samsung. Just next to it sits the memory chip containing a whopping 128 gigabytes of internal storage. Just a couple of years ago, you'd be lucky to own a PC tower with this much power. I mean, just look how tiny that thing is. Let's get to one of the most fascinating features of the Oppo Reno 10X, the mechanism that opens and closes the shark fin. Looking from the back side, the fin is fixed on the right hand side. The left side is driven up and down by a tiny stepper motor in the top left corner of the phone. Having taken it apart, it's truly remarkable how solid this mechanism feels. And by the way, there is a rather cool safety feature of that pop-up shark fin camera. Now, this one is not gonna be able to do it anymore, but if you have a working version like I have here, and you have the pop-up camera open, when you go to drop the phone, the motion sensors will automatically detect that you've dropped it and retract that mechanism for you. Aside from the way Oppo managed to squeeze so much crazy stuff inside this tiny body, there's been one thing that has really struck me during this teardown video. Everything feels really, really solid. This is the build quality of a true flagship smartphone. Despite the complexity of the tech here, the Oppo Reno 10X zoom should be fairly easy to repair. I was able to get it all apart fairly easily. You will have to be a little bit more careful than I was though if you are gonna repair this thing by yourself. For fans of NFC, look away now. Yes, I did break the cables.